and we're here for the Copperhead Amateur Series here at the Chicagoland Speedway for the LifeLock 250. But of course, before we get the race started, we must go through how both of the qualifying heats went and see which five drivers advanced from each one of them. As the first heat starts with Jeff Porkins on the front row with Ryan Kendall on his outside. Porkins has his teammate Samantha Jones behind him at the initial start. Jones electing to go on the outside with Kendall though. As Ryan Kendall gets around the outside of Jack Porkins. Porkins tries to hold it but cannot do so. Second place copyright amateur series points finisher from last season falls to the 17 early on. As they as a few laps later into the event. Top two have pulled away Samantha Jones still under fire from Carter Friesen with the rest of the drivers who are in for the moment and other drivers who are looking to get in. Jones looking to escape from this pack along with Carter Friesen attempting to make his second copyright amateur series start here at the Chicagoland Speedway. As now many laps, well a few laps later, Jones catches her teammate Jack Porkins and Fitzwater Australia racing cars start battling for the second position as Samantha Jones goes around Porkins for the moment Porkins gets to run off the corner but only to contend with Carter Friesen who shoves it down on the inside as Friesen will take the third position away Porkins now in fourth and quickly losing that to Addison Steinbeck in the 32 now now under pressure from Webster Zygard for losing yet another position as Porkins goes from second to now sixth on the racetrack in just the span of a single lap. Porkins continues to fight with Zygard, actually gets around Zygard. He's in the last transfer spot, dives it up the inside of Essen Steinbach. This is only with a few laps to go. Steinbach gets to run off the corner. Porkins loses his momentum and to the inside goes Webster Zygard in the 12. But he also has to contend with the 28 of Brian Lenning who makes it three abreast for the final transfer spot. With a, only a few laps remaining in the first heat. Zygard, Lenning and Porkins all three abreast. Const Constantine Jameson looking in the back in the two. Looking for an opportunity to get around the three who are squabbling for the final spot. Porkins being on the very high lane loses all the positions. Jameson then follows up hitting the white flag lap but then Jameson himself dives it to the inside and attempts to battle with Lenning and Zygard for the final transfer spot here at the Chicagoland Speedway. Porkins throws it up the inside himself but Jameson around the other three pretty much able to ride it home at that point. As up at the front on the last lap, Ryan Kendall encounters lap traffic, has Carter Friesen behind him, Samantha Jones, but is still able to hold both of them off. He wins the first heat. As the driver is advancing on a Ryan Kendall, Carter Friesen, Samantha Jones, S. Steinbeck, and Constantine Jameson, Lenning, Zygard, Porkins, Spoke, Crawford, Brayer, Bowers, Beasley, Christian Parker, making up the first list here at Chicagoland. Then we have Dylan Parker, Nia Deverett, TJ Hanley, Juan Garcia, Eric Van Arsdale, Richard Fridge, AJ Bain, TJ Smith, and Griffin Lynn. Those are all the drivers in this first heat. But of course, now we have the second heat here from the Chicago Land Speedway. Nicholas Wade and Zach Rain on the front row. William Johnston in the third position. Eric Rillis in fourth as Johnston quickly tries to dive it up the inside. Does not get it to work entering turn one, but this is only lap one of the heat. Not the best time to make crazy moves as he continues to just jump into second battle with Zach Rain for the second position now. As Nicholas Wade trying to pull away so he does not have to deal with what happened to Jack Porkins in the last race to go from pole sitter to eliminated as he continues to pull from the field and with quick speed goes the nine. As you can see, it's still a battle between the 61 of Rain and the 88 of Johnston. Eric Willis in the 68 in fourth, competing with Zach, with Scott Roush in the 37. He's in the fifth position, as many other drivers are right there around this final transfer spot for this race. 
as Vrain and Johnson going side by side for this many laps is actually making them all bunch up together and letting Nicholas Wade pull away to a amazingly big gap for the moment. But you can see Willis losing the spot to Roush. Vinny VC also trying to follow in the 27. As you can see, Wade though pulled out to a gap. Zach Rain dives it to the inside in the 61. This left a many laps of single file racing top five just pulled away from the rest of the field. But Wade holds off of, from Rain as he has to contend with William Johnson now. You lose momentum when you try to pass in bad spots, and that's what happens to Zach Rain, but he holds off the 88. But now you have the 18 up on the inside, Zach Kamaski making his presence felt as he's trying to put himself into the final transfer spot. He's already battling for fourth with Vinny VC. Zach Roush on the outside, also the sixth, also the three actually, of Megan Johnson there, 23 of Haley Wish. But as we go to the closing stages, Zach Rain on the outside of William Johnson now has to contend with the lap car. Rain in the second position, but it is the 54 of Steven Carmona blocking the 37, well, blocking the 27 and the 61. 61 goes from battling for second to third, and he's actually going to get passed by Megan Johnson again. Haley Wish filling the gap in. Even Vinny Vesey getting to the inside of the 61 as Zach Rain continues to tumble out of the transfer spot. Now filling a line in front of Zach, um, in front of Scott Roush and Kevin Olfrich in the six. As you can see, nine of Nicholas Wade just continued to pull out to yet another gap. He takes home a, well, mainly easy win for him in this heat. And you can see everyone else cross the line single file. As we have Nicholas Wade, William Johnson, Zach Kamaski, Haley Wish, and Vinny Vesey advancing. Rain, Johnson, Roush, Ulrich, Will Willis, Irvine, Washington, Dunn, and Royal not advancing. Then we have Aiden Milliken not advancing. Andrei Popov, Pangborn, Ray, Baskinger, Johnson, Anderson, Leon, and Steven Car Carmona also not advancing here into the main race. But now with the coverage of the heat stunt. This is the LifeLock 250 from the Chicago Land Speedway. Nathan Lukek on the pole, Haley Wish in second, Carter Friesen, Samantha Jones, Eric Monaco, Pat Willis, Julio Caesar, Ryan Kendall. A lot of Dodgers up there in the front of the grid. Jeffrey Finge, Castle Radcliffe, Dylan Mimbrilla, Giovanni Barraza, Robert Harrison, Vinny Vesey, Zach Kamaski, Aston Steinbeck in the fifth through eighth row and then well we have the rows nine through twelve Colin Denton, Nicholas Wade, James Richardson, William Johnson, Sebastian Torres, John Art, Mitrev Zrishel in the 81 the points leader starting 23rd as Constant Jameson barely advancing in the first seat starting 24th and running out the field last race winner IRP Isaac Nichols Jake Rogers, Chris Dodd, and Alexander Rowe making up the field here at the Chicago Land Speedway. As they roll through turns three and four, Lukek and Wish, two Chevrolets in front of the Dodges of Friesen, Jones, and Monaco. First forward back in seventh, Julio Caesar, but the green flag is displayed. We are racing in the LifeLock 250 in race six of the Copperhead Amateur Series. As Lukak pulls, as obviously first inside lane pole sitter in all of the events so far, have gotten off to a great jump. Outside, outside pole sitter Haley Wish having the battle just to be able to hold on to a top five. As Carter Friesen now putting the pressure on the one of Nathan Lukak, but the rookies taking advantage of the veterans early on here with Lukek, Friesen, and Monaco all up at the front of the pack for the moment. But Lukek holding on as they complete the first lap and everything starts to settle in. As with the heat races, everything settles in really quickly here at Chicagoland. As we now cover Julio Caesar running in about the seventh position. After a very close, well, leading almost every lap at IRP, he's looking to get redemption here at Chicagoland as 
not not the fastest car, but he could have an opportunity if anything were to happen or if he can play the pit strategy game correctly. As we also have Alexander Rowe in the 24. He's picking he's picked up some spots, but driver who's the farthest back in points and just having an honest abysmal season so far. Trying to step up and get some points gained. As you also have Colin Denton back there in the 21, one of the drivers up there in points. A couple of drivers not really doing that well. But you here we are on board with the 85 of Carter Friesen. Trying to hunt down Nathan Lukic in the one. And you can see he pulls on the one. But you saw how far back he is. And you can see if he turns 74, one starts to pull a little bit. It's just the nature of this racetrack. They just keep just flowing with each other. Pulls away, catches back up. Made really big Jeff Reliant track if the car is a fast enough car. As here is the 81, the points leader. As you, as you know, not running in that good of a position. Still around the 21st position from where he started. I only have a few spots. Robert Harrison actually kept dropping a lot. Isaac Nichols, the last race winner, still running around where he started, around the 25th, 24th position here. Also, like I said, Colin Denton behind him, up there in points, and Giovanni Barraza up there in points, who dropped from 12, falling like a rock early on in 92. As they continue to go pull away, the leaders do, but Eric Monaco in the 99 continues to catch the 85 and the 1 as Right now, it's looking to be a four-horse race with Samantha Jones in the distant background, but still catching up as she had to battle with um, Haley Wish and Patrick Curtis out of the pack. But she is catching up to the top three who really had it comfortable single-file racing for the moment. Back on board with Carter Friesen in the 85, hunting the one of Nathan Mukek. You could just see him just so close, really the same distance as before. Just the 85 cannot get the job done. You can see just trying to get to him. And in his second start, the 85 is running in second still, showing off a really good ride in his, well, second ever Copyright Amateur Series start. This could be something big if he can continue this type of speed up. But you could just see the big gap that Lukak Friesen, Monaco, and Jones have on the field. It is the lone Chevrolet Ranger battling the three Dodges out of his rearview mirror as Friesen, Monaco, and Jones. Although not, although the 85 and 99 are teams, are teammates, it is all Dodges in two different teams, so not entirely working together unless if you're the second and third place Friesen and Monaco cars. As this is how this race has continued to run past halfway at this point and the top three decide to enter pit road Samantha Jones around the outside she does not pit and as you can see the top three pit not many other takers the first time around a bunch of drivers staying out here trying to get the overcut on the leaders but exiting pit road three of them battle Battle off of pit road as well. They came in relatively the same as they, when they came off. But Carter Friesen with a fantastic exit off of pit road gets to the outside of Nathan Mukak in the one. But will well he will edge out entering the corner and he will go around the one. As you can see how everyone else pitting. 85 goes around the one. That's the first time the one has been passed and it's off of pit road by Carter Friesen as Eric Monaco to the inside of Lukak himself, trying to keep up with his Red Stallion Racing teammate, not letting the 85 get off so easily with a possible lead. And why I say possible lead, Samantha Jones off of pit road in front of both the 85 and the 99, as Samantha Jones realistically inherits the lead by overcutting the top three who she was behind before so she holds off the initial attack from Carter Friesen as now she she's st she's stopped the momentum of them now it's just can she hold off them from the rest of the race Eric Monaco 
seemingly tired of sitting behind his teammate, dropping to the inside, knowing with Zrisho in the back, this could be a fantastic point stay for the driver of the 99, knowing his teammate not full time, trying to gain as much points as he can on the 81. As he gets to the second position, Nathan Mukak will, will follow him through in the one. Friesen dropping from second back to the fourth position as Samantha Jones is loving the battling behind her, but the draft is just too strong here. Once the three gets single file again, they easily catch up to Samantha Jones as we are getting even closer to the end of the race. Under 10 laps to go here at this point. Eric Monaco dips to the inside, entering turn three and four, trying to get around the Fitzwater Australia racing entry in the 43. She backs up her exit and tries and gets to the door of the 99. Samantha Jones barely edging that lap out, but it is Eric Monaco with the preferred lane entering turn one, clearing the 43, but the 43 once again on exit, fights back against Eric Monaco, but as Monaco keeps edging out that just that bit closer every lap, well every corner, he eventually clears Samantha Jones and Eric Monaco takes the top spot. Nathan Lukak goes to battle the 43, but the 43 makes quick work of the one. Now it is, can the 99 defend from Jones, or is Jones going to be able to put up a fight like the 99 did? She now has the one in the 85 on her back bumper. Now she needs to see if she can get around Monaco and reclaim the lead and with this and at this point in the race claim the victory for Fitzwater Schiller Racing. Kai Jack Porkins teammate to Samantha Jones not well missed the race and now his old car from the previous season here in the Copyright Amateur Series is leading his teammate for this race so kind of sour sour karma there karma sour luck for the 59 of Jack Porkins as his old ride and what could have been his ride today fighting for the race win as Nathan Mukic collects the dodge is battled out trying to now battle Samantha Jones for the second position and this could be what does it Eric Monaco having battling behind him Carter Friesen actually fell back a bit this is actually helping him catch back up to the draft of the one and the 43 well, that's what Monaco wanted to see. He wants to see fighting behind him so he can pull away with this race and victory. And with only a few laps to go, this is this is the perfect scenario for the driver of the 99. Eric Monaco still leading here on the last lap. And Monaco easily continues to hold off Samantha Jones. And Eric Monaco will win for the second time here this season in the Copperhead Amateur Series, winning the LifeLock 250 over Samantha Jones and Nathan Mukak. 99 proceeds to burn it down on the front straightaway here at Chicagoland. Second time we've seen the 99 doing burnouts here this season in the Copperhead Amateur Series. As well. 99 will drive off to victory lane here as now we have the finishing results here Eric Monaco takes home the victory Samantha Jones Nathan Mukak Carter Friesen Zrishel there in fifth Finn Guy in sixth Radcliffe in seventh Kendall in eighth Harrison ninth Mimbrella in tenth definitely the point definitely the stack up after the Pit stops helps Zrishel get up to the fifth positioning. You can see Johnson falls, Nichols, Dodd, Torres, Barraza, Jameson, Caesar, who was up there early to down the 21st, Arndt, Steinbach, Kamaski, VC, Rowe, Rogers, and Patrick Curtis make up the field. Patrick Curtis actually starting in the sixth spot, finishes last here. Now the point standings. Zrishel now 16 point lead over Monaco. Lukak now only 32 back. Finn Guy 38 back. Torres, Harrison, Denton, Barraza, Caesar, and Mimbrilla. Nichols, Dodd, Richardson, and Radcliffe continuing to fight it out there. As John Arndt, Patrick Curtis, Jake Rogers, and Alexander Rowe round up the field of full timers. 
Samantha Jones leading the other drivers. Scott Roush in second. Elijah Gordon, Megan Johnson, Jack Newman, Haley Wish, Tanya Brayer, Jack Perkins, Vinny Vesey, and Carter Friesen. 